in several events together. I'm not sure if they ever ever clashed. Yeah. And let's get it started right now yep. on PS2. One, and they're both yellow. <laughs> so. Interesting. I have I have strong does I have like strong words to say about Syrup's uh, pick on the nest. What the bumblebee nest? Yeah. Oh, so it took actual early logic back on, just really being careful not to use his double jump there, but he needs to really recognize that position for Sinji, though. When he's under the platform like that, he's not getting hit by PK fire. Yeah, no, Sinji just, like, knows a lot of matchups, always undergrind. Oh, but Syrup getting the forwarder into PK fire and just continuing the string of follow-ups. Not able to pin Sinji down in the corner quite yet, but just going to be letting him go with Galaxian and giving him all that space. I love that respect for them, Syrup. All right. Now we're seeing another Galaxian. And we saw earlier Pac-Man in the set, just like, not in the set, but in this tournament, just not do go for a lot of fruit. But now we're seeing a lot of Galaxian <gasps> out here. Oh. Yeah, Sinji maybe not fully expecting to get the bell hit there, so doesn't have the best follow up planned. Um, and now Sugup needs to find a way to get back onto the stage, and neutral get up to right into the bell. Maybe sleep just for the second there, or maybe thinking that they'd be able to neutral get up and shield in time. Hydrant actually gonna be knocking Sugup out of down smash uh, as he gets pushed off stage. Yeah, and such an like, excellent idea just to put up behind you. It does like mess up your pos positioning and spacing for stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you like try to microspace with, against Sinji and Hydrant's out, you ain't microspacing some more. You could just put you in an evil worse situation. Oh, that? I, I didn't even know Trampoline was already out like that. Yeah, so Syrup was maybe trying to go for the yo yo there, but uh, Sinji already had his next recovery option uh, just ready to go. So yeah. he's playing keep away so well, Syrup tries to find that way in, and you know what? One good jump, and is all he needs, one good tomahawk. Yeah, he just kind of exploded there. All right. Again, so Syrup is PK firing in ranges that Sinji is not particularly occupying, but then also Sinji is not punishing uh, Syrup in those places either. Yeah, Syrup, like, mainly been doing it on top of the platform, and I do know that you get probably less lag. Yes, yeah, so you get to cancel a lot of the end lag. Well, you don't cancel it, you just reduce yeah. a lot of the end lag compared to grab the PK fire. Um, so it's deceptively safe, especially if it hits your shield. It can even be plus on shield if you space that correctly. Yeah, but Sinji's hiding under these platforms, just avoiding this, avoiding them, and it just, like, hurts Syrup a lot. Okay, yep. you get thunder. Everybody gets hit by that. At least once. Oh, and I like that Hydrant from Sinji. They're just using that as a way to block PK Thunder. So they're just looking for a way to be able to get in on this. <laughs> Such an interesting choice, too. An yeah. immediate up out of dash attack is, is... Yeah, so if Syrup went for, like, a more grounded option, and then Syrup would also have been on the trampoline with them. Mm -hmm. And Sinji just, like, yo, dash attack, like, minus four or something. It's able to just not able to be punished in a lot of scenarios. Oh, oh, got you your follow. bell used against you. Yeah. Sinji, I feel like, usually is really good with who grabs as soon as he hits your shield with bell. So, uh, I, I like that Syrup was able to make the most out of that situation, waiting the understanding that he doesn't have a follow-up, but Sinji able to mash out of this advantage there. Such a good angle on Hydrogen, and now Syrup is back at the ledge, goes yeah. for a little bit of a thunder plank as Sinji ends up running back in. <gasps> oh, the wind bombs. Damn. That's just tough. Alright, and let's see if Sinji can try to get the lead here. That's Galaxian in hand. One yeah. good hit with Galaxian, that's that's way too much damage. So Sugup is playing at long distance, he's playing outside of the area of effect. Alright. Okay, just jumping to catch in it. And I like these um, empty lands by Syrup, just showing that they're always not gonna use press a button. So Sugup so keeps trying to go through these double jump cancel PK fires, but I feel like Sinji again is just positioning himself under platforms just outside of that immediate range. So his PK fires don't end up doing much. Sinji's also very late on those punishes uh, with like guys in neutral as well. Alright. And Syrup just taking their time. He's trying to avoid all these fruits. The same there. Their oh, beat lover. A little Not bit unfortunate. Staring. Both of them just playing so patiently now. Now with Bell in play. Yeah, what, Bell, what? Bell's his he now. Gave it to him. He didn't hold forward on that bell at all. Oh no. Okay, yeah. now that bell is out of play, it's gonna be a little bit calmer now. Another bell is back in it. This is so good for Sinji right now, if he could just pin down Sigup in the corner. All right. 
throwing the belt and said he just baited it out. Oh, I was like wondering why they didn't want to throw belt, maybe. Billion is again. Sugup keeps on putting himself above Sinji, and Sinji never really capitalizes fully. Oh, a little bit too late. late. Yeah. Alright, let's see what happens. Sinji is down a percent, but the pacing is exactly how Sinji wants it. Is that back to it? No. no, it's not gonna be it, but 122, 123. Also, one... PS3 is big. Really? Uh, ah, yeah. yeah, a little bit of a greedy option of him, Sinji, just pressing a button. So it was just waiting. Uh, again, so it was doing a lot of like what I touched on before, uh, what Jackal was doing really well. The difference between preemptive options and reactive ledge trapping. So, some options that Syrup loves alternating between, sometimes he'll just stop and wait. Other times, he'll dash forward and dash back and then dash back in with up smash. Um, and that usually catches people trying to press something that they really shouldn't be from the ledge. And then sometimes he'll go out there, uh, and this is assuming he doesn't yo-yo, he runs out there and just starts going out down tilt. Yeah. So I feel like all of those, the really good timing mix-ups as well, you know? No, I definitely feel you on what you said right there. But Sinji seems to like not be super afraid, just going back to PS2, saying this is probably... Like the best answer, or like <gasps> not just a fluke. Oh, so they're trying to go for maybe a full follow up there. Not really sure what he was looking for with that PK fire, uh, considering that Sinji was already way up above. But there is a spacing of PK fire that might have been able to cover it. We can touch on that later. Um, that being said, Syrup doing a really good job of jumping in, finding a lot of these openings, and, and just getting really creative uh, instead of like tunnel vision. Yeah, no, definitely. Oh, it's okay. Sinji just dash attacks out of the corner. Out of disadvantage. It's sometimes using an attack to get out of disadvantage ain't the worst thing. Mm, I'm surprised Sinji was able to make a pass the yo yo there. I think Sugup's so, spacing might have been slightly off. He would need to hang yo yo a little bit lower. Yeah, I, it just might be slightly off. Love the option though. Tr trying to go through like a uh, you know, ledge jump back here. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Has the dash back, the wind box slightly messing up the spacing and thus the timing. And there is a drag down fill up smash. So. Let's talk about that interaction. You know what that is? That what? is a multi-hit that scales with percent. So at zero, it's unsafe on hit. At 100%, it can start following up into things. Sinji might have been able to shield, but up smash would have still been able to perfectly punish any of Sinji's options, or at least set him up for the shield break thing. So it was a nasty place to be in. That was just really well played. For yeah, it's not a place I want to be in. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Tries to go through the upper magnet follow-up. Does not find it quite yet. Alright. Terrible, but just a bit late on this punish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pac-Man's moves are actually so much quicker and, and faster and less hand lag than people anticipate, so he could he has boxing gloves for a reason. Yeah, he's here to throw these hands. Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, we're going to a fight. <laughs> Bring the gloves on. Sinji with Galaxian in hand is so scary. I do really appreciate just how much Sugup is respecting him for it though. Yeah. Okay, just caught him right out. And the armor through, that's a new addition to Pac-Man. Look how comfortable he was facing himself around Yo-Yo there. He stalled right under the hitbox. He was truly playing with death uh, in that position. Yeah. Alright. You see Sinji trying to play a bit more passive now. Getting off the ledge. And Syrup just took all that ground away from him. Mm -hmm. Well, that out there is going to be able to do it. Yeah, that's what Sinji loves doing. He loves stalling and keeping himself safe with Hydrogen. But if you can get get up there and call him out, you can find stocks really, really soon. All right, so getting the fair train. 29% catching the roll. Oh, no, doesn't find that second PK fire as Sinji ends up maybe holding in and drifting in from that position. <gasps> this is so good for the syrup, but that Hydrogen just keeping uh, Sinji safe just a little bit longer. All right, Spice Sinji hitting it the right way. Mm-hmm. Bell oh, wow. Yeah, that, it lingers forever, Dara. Mm -hmm. yeah, that hitbox is just out there, and it hits so low, too. Much lower than I expected. What a tomahawk to him, too, up as well. Sinji was definitely, like, afraid of him coming back in. <gasps> no! I, I swear I saw more down tilts in, in Sigup's future. Yeah, no, you, you might actually be a jinx. Okay, catch him. Oh, that time, because Sinji was at the edge of the stage, he never ended up getting onto the ground and thus was just able to double jump away, so. Yeah, and really smart of Sinji just to know that you can do that in this situation. But mm -hmm. Sinji is going to need to make up this percent. 
if they want to stay in the winning side bracket. Gets an early forward to the Sugup, keeps on putting him in these bad places. Doesn't go for the yo-yo at all. Has to go in AD on the jump, but Ness multi-hits don't function. Uh-oh. It functioned to a degree. Not good enough, but Sugup that time around just going to be extending his hitbox onto Hydrant, and as a result, finds the stock and the game. I think Sugup just played very patiently. Yeah, no, sir. Definitely played. I was impatient, but I was just outplayed and I'll skill their opponent. A lot of people do tend to sleep on us and say, You're Ness, I don't want to practice with you. Yeah. But it sort of shows like you have all these matchups to do really good. Yeah. I think what Sergeup did really, really well, he was able to get a lot out of his double jump cancel PK for the follow ups. So that's like basically a given for Ness. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing is he respected Galaxian. You have to respect that projectile. Yeah, no. You get hit by Galaxian, you're taking 70%. If, if Sinji is like, if he's like got a spacing and everything on point, I feel like I'm adding 10% yeah. each week. I was like 40%, no, 50, no, 60, well, you can take 70. We, we've seen Sinji get 70, and like on drops, you get like 40. So that's still massive damage. It's a lot. 